Hey fellow photographer, how's it going? I'm Michael Selbel and today I've got a simple lighting setup for you, which enables you to turn any bedroom into your own photo studio for boudoir photography. Why that? Well, because currently it's winter holiday season outside it's blistering cold and I'm really glad that our location for today is a warm and cozy bedroom. Yeah, ain't that good? My initial idea for today's video was quite different. Yeah, I actually wanted to uh, make a making of video of a photo shoot, a making of of the shoot that you right now see on your screen. That is a photo shoot um, I made for an ebook, and I published that ebook uh, that ebook a couple of days ago, but. You know, having such a making of video, it's nice. I can put it onto my blog or uh, upload it to my social networks. But then again, what's the use for you? You know, what's the use for the viewer if, if, if you see a making of video? Yeah, no benefit. That is why I now completely changed my mind. And I thought, no, let's take one lighting setup out of this um, ebook and explain that lighting setup because then you have got something which you can use in your photography, which you can replicate and which you can try out right today in your own bedroom or tomorrow in a hotel bedroom. That's uh, quite easy. So let's jump into that lighting setup and I'm going to explain it. So the uh, fundamental thing is a bed. Yeah, over here we've got a king sized bed, two by two meters and shooting such a bed is uh, nice, but can be quite boring at times. That's why we should add a model. Now we can post the model in yeah, any way, shape or form on the bed. But the main point is we need some light in order to see the model on the photograph. That's why we add a speed light over here at the side. Now uh, I used a strong speed light guide number 58 but I dialed the power way down to 1 32nd of, uh, of its power because the bedroom was quite small and got white walls so I don't need so much light actually and I did uh, let it go through a big shoot for umbrella so that the light is nice and smooth and soft and I positioned the umbrella just above the bed yeah so that uh, the light is coming from a quite low angle making all the folds and uh, yeah, the, the shapes in the bed uh, sheets quite three dimensional. Uh, the camera is positioned, uh, yeah, exactly opposite at the uh, other corner of the bed, and the settings are, yeah, well, most of them quite standard: two hundredths of a second, f two point eight for shallow depth of field, ISO one hundred. But I dialed up the white balance to ten thousand Kelvin. Why? Because the speed light is delivering very bluish daylight quality light now yeah, of roughly 5,800 Kelvin. But I wanted to turn the thing into a very warm and cozy scene, quite yellowish scene. That is why I dialed up the um, white balance in camera so that the stuff comes out of camera. Yeah, quite yellowish, just like it would be tungsten light or, or yeah, well, even warmer. But this is a little trick, but wait, there's more. Yeah, we've got another trick. And that's a good one because we add a second speed light for much more punch. Now, a second speed light is over there. It's uh, not quite as strong, guide number 43. It's also dialed down to 1 32nd of its power and it's going through a lampshade. Yeah, a lampshade of a bedside lamp. Actually, the speed light is inside the lamp. So when you see the lamp in the photograph, yeah, the camera is shooting right uh, towards the lamp. When you see it, it looks like the lamp is glowing. But what you actually see is the speed light going off inside the lamp. Yeah, that gives the photos quite a bit of punch and it's very easy to do. Yeah, just take a lampshade, put a speed light inside. There you go. There you got your punch. And yeah, well, that's all it takes. So it's not so much gear, two speed lights, a light stand, one umbrella. And I think that's something that you can easily take with you, for instance, into a hotel room, also when you travel. Um, but well, you can also try it out at home because it w it's working in very small bedrooms. You can have the tiniest bedroom and an ugly bed, but with that sort of lighting, you know, it will pop. Yeah, you can illuminate just a piece of the room and it will be just fine. So go try it out. Tell me yeah, how, it's worked, how it worked for you. Drop a comment under the video and come back next Thursday. Until then, I wish you good light. <laughs> 